Hello friends, you might wonder which is the best exam to start practice in the UK. Is it the lab exam or MRCP exam? Please watch this video where I'm going to explain the pros and cons of each of these exams and help you choose which is the best for you. Hello everyone, my name is Suman. I am an Indian doctor currently training in the UK as a respiratory physician. In this channel, I make videos on life and work in the UK as an international medical graduate and how you can also move to UK to work as a doctor from your own home country. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share this video with your friends so that this video reaches out to more and more doctors like you. This really means a lot to me. Friends, some of you have asked on my previous videos that is it better to take the PLAP exam or directly appear for the MRCP exam. In this video, I am going to discuss five main factors which will help you decide which is the best exam for you. First and foremost, you must be very clear that these exams are your routes to GMC registration. Of course, MRCP offers some added advantage being a postgraduate exam and it is helpful to pass MRCP if you have plans to enter postgraduate training in the UK. Be clear about the fact that passing MRCP exam will not make you a consultant in the UK. To start your career in the UK, as a doctor, you need GMC registration. So majority of you will be taking these exams as a route to GMC registration and not to become a specialist. If you are a recent MBBS graduate or doing internship now, then PLAB is the preferred exam for you. Don't even think of MRCP at this stage of your career. You should focus on getting into NHS through the PLAB exam. This exam is suited to your knowledge and your skill set. It is easier than MRCP exam and also easier than the NEET PG exam. It's one of the cheapest foreign exams available to us if you compare it with USMLE, Australian AMC exam, or the Canadian exam. PLAP is a two-step exam and you can take the first step in India. For the second step, you have to travel to UK and also live in the UK for a few months to prepare for the exam. At present, there is a long queue for PLAP 2 exam dates due to COVID-related backlogs. So most likely, you will get a seat for PLAP 2 exam in late 2023 or 24 if you are yet to appear for the PLAB part 1 exam. MRCP on the other hand is a postgraduate exam for medicine. It has three stages, the part 1, part 2 which are both MCQ exam and PACES exam which is a practical exam. MRCP exams are held in the UK along with many international centers around the world so most likely there is a center at or near your own city because this is a postgraduate medical exam you are expected to have postgraduate medical training experience to appear for this exam saying this i must clarify that mrcp part one can be taken after your internship or during your first year of md training i personally sat for MRCP part 1 exam during the first year of my MD pulmonary medicine training from India and I passed the exam in the first attempt. Cost is an important consideration before you appear for any exam. PLAB is definitely the cheaper exam as compared to MRCP. In 2022, the cost of PLAB part 1 is £247 and part 2 is £906. Combined fee for both the parts is 1553 pounds but you also need to calculate the cost of accommodation in the uk for a few months 
cost of coaching academy, visa cost, flight tickets, etc. which will increase your total budget up to £5,000 or more. However, if you want to prepare for PLAP 2 exam from your own home country before even traveling to UK, then you can use online coaching like TrueLink Online PLAP 2 course. This will eventually save you money as you don't have to stay in UK for too long, definitely not two or three months as you have already prepared for the stations before even coming to UK. You will only need few days of practice and coaching academy before the exam, which in turn is going to save you a lot of money. Please check out the link in the description below to receive a special 10% discount on the TrueLink Plat2 online course. On the other hand, the MRCP exam in international centers is going to cost you £600 for each of part 1 and part 2 and £1202 for PACES exam, which is a total of £2418. The cost of the exam in international centers is actually a lot more than the cost in the UK centers. The total cost will be approximately £1550 if you take the exam in UK. You will also need to consider the cost of tutorial for each of these steps which are mostly online question banks for part 1 and part 2 but for PACES you will need to attend a practical course which is going to cost you more than £1000 at least. Now what if you have completed your MBBS exam a few years back and till now have not entered into MD training due to whatever reason or if you are doing MD in a non-clinical specialty and want to move to UK for higher specialty training in medicine. In this case, MRCP will be a better option for you, provided you are doing some sort of general medicine practice. This could be as an RMO in a nursing home or private hospital or house job in a medical college or even as a medical officer in a government hospital, even a rural hospital. Remember, I am stressing the fact that you must be in clinical practice because this exam is a difficult exam to pass without relevant postgraduate clinical experience. But the experience need not be as MD general medicine. It could be any clinical experience. PLAP is supposed to be the quicker exam, but due to backlog at present, it will take two years or more to complete the exam if you are planning to start the preparation right now. Perhaps GMC will increase the capacity of the exam in the meantime. I have recently seen job advertisement from GMC to recruit more and more PLAP2 examiners. So hopefully they are going to increase the capacity of exam and this will cut down the backlog. If you are enjoying the video till now and find value in this content, then please don't forget to hit the like button. This will allow the YouTube algorithm to share this video with more and more viewers like you. The fifth and the most important point to consider is your own future career goals. This is another important consideration to decide on which exam is best for you. If you don't want to train in medicine or a medical specialty, then don't sit for MRCP exam. If you want to become a general surgeon, go for MRCS. Gyneobs, go for MRCOG. Pediatrics, go for MRCPCH. MRCP is for medical specialty like cardiology, respiratory medicine, neurology, endocrine, nephrology, rheumatology, dermatology, etc. Another reason for MRCP exam is that it is mandatory to apply for training post at ST3 or ST4 level. If you have any plans to apply for training in medicine, then MRCP is mandatory for you. For non-training post also, most hospital will prefer a candidate with MRCP if you are applying for registrar grade post. If you are not confident to appear for any postgraduate exam for your own specialty, PLAB is always an option for you. This will at least help you settle into a non-training junior doctor post in the UK after getting GMC registration then you can prepare for your postgraduate exam as you gain more and more experience 
of working in the UK. Now there is another group of doctors who will be sitting for MRCP exam. They might not have any plans to come to UK. However, they will only take MRCP exam as an added qualification to their names, which might help in their job prospect as well as their private practice. Hope this video will help you decide which is the most appropriate exam for you. If you don't want to appear for any of this exam, that is PLAB or MRCP exam, and you still want to practice in UK, then your option is sponsorship route for GMC registration. Or in other words, to try and apply for MTI or medical training initiative. Please check out my detailed video on everything about MTI and I'm going to provide the link in the top corner. Thank you for watching.